So these boys are going to a big showing show tomorrow, which is quite exciting. So they both had a bar. Teddy looks a touch grumpy after being drenched. Um, Albie looks the cleanest he's ever looked in his whole life. And we thought that we'd do a little video. <laughs> have been plaited up to keep them clean and Albie is literally gleaming looking his cleanest ever so I've put them in their Just Equine Kentucky rugs and I am literally determined that they stay clean because I have to prove my sister wrong who said not to put them in them hi Ted still looking pretty clean oh. how are you Albie you rolled yet oh no you look good too Oh boy, you look very smart in your Kentucky rugs. Very smart. Do a bit of mucking out so that you don't lie in that and we'll be away. Now, B, are you going to be on top behaviour? I'm not going to try to jump out the lorry this time. So today we are actually taking Leo. So we are doing a lead rein class. We've got two options of saddles. We've got the Volta Bardet. Um, depending on what sort of awake state slash mood and time the class is. And we've got the basket saddle. And we have two very tiny bridles, because Albie's doing a class and Teddy's doing a class. We have Leo's little hat, which is really good because it's really lightweight and it tightens right up. Leo's tiny boots, which are adorable. The question is, do we think they will have rolled or do we not? Initial glances look quite good. How he's got a clean head, so that's good. He's not too bald yet. Good morning, boys. Hello. Now, how clean are these two looking? Oh, they're actually looking immaculate. No, they haven't rolled too much. Hi, Albie. You're looking literally the cleanest I've ever seen you. Very cute. You're being annoying. Being annoying to your brother. Oh, look at that. Ooh, nice. Albie, maybe we should keep up this cleanliness. How your bed, how's your bed looking? Oh, we've got a bit of mucking out to do. Go on then. Come We're on just on. bribing them pre, pre-competition. Look at that mane. So you're doing broken colours and novice. novice. And Teddy's doing four-year-old plus. And lead drain. <laughs> yeah, this is the wild, wild Mustang. This is going in the field. Woo Wind in the main. Oh, you look handsome. <laughs> Teddy's hair is everywhere. So much floof. Right, let's go. Let's go, doggies. Let's go, doggies. Bye bye. bye, bye. <laughs> Goodbye. Teddy looks like he's just giving Albie some moral support in the whole tacking up process slash about to escape. <laughs> oh, Albie looks so smart. No, Ted. It's not your moment of fame yet. Look at him! Oh, he looks so cute. He's lost his feet a bit. Go to the dirty bottom. Stand still. Albie's really excited. Hello, Bertie. Hello, Albert. Oh, there's lots of Shetlands here. Most beautiful. It is looking great. Very excited. He's prancing and dancing. Ooh. Albie.
lovely shotguns. There's the labs. Lots of rosettes. Standard Chetlands and miniatures. Yeah. First of all, everyone just had to trot from the front of the group to the back. So Albie is sassing along, strutting his stuff here with Mary, um, our friend who's handling him. He's literally never done anything like this and hasn't even really practiced at home. So we are really proud of how he handled it and he got lots of praise. You can see there are quite a lot of really, really cute Shetlands in here. So I have no idea how the judge is gonna pick their winner. This is a class for coloured horses, so Albie's Palomino and White. There's also skewballed and piebald ponies in this class. And now it's little Albie's turn to do his show. So you can see he has to stand up square so the judge can basically inspect him from all angles. So Mary's throwing some sand up to try and get his ears pricked. And um, from the side, actually, I've seen some of the professional photos. He is standing absolutely beautifully, so very proud of him. He then has to walk away from the judge and then trot back and all, all the way around back to the back of the line of ponies. And considering his antics outside the ring, I actually think he's sort of composing himself pretty well here. He's trotting really sweetly and has a bit of sass which is giving him a bit of elevation so I think hopefully the judge likes what she sees. We were very aware though that this is a big Shetland show and lots of big names in terms of um, Shetland pony producers were here so I had no expectations at all that Albie would even get placed um, so you can see they're all walking around here and the judges are discussing and to our absolute surprise, the judge actually calls Albie in first, which I could have almost died on the spot. You can see it's an absolutely massive class and it's his first time ever showing, so we were absolutely thrilled. Yes, you're very good. Albie just won his class out of all of these ponies. Wow. The cutest thing was how proud he looks of himself and the fact that the rosettes were almost as big as his face as well was absolutely hilarious. Albie. Oh my goodness, he looks just as shocked as we are. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's as big as him. Mary and Albie also qualified for two championships, which is very exciting. So yeah, absolutely shocked. So he'd also entered Albie into a second class, and this is the novice pony class, because at the time he had never ever competed, let alone won a class. He looks so Go Albs! A standard Shetland was the very well-deserved winner of this class. Thank you.
Ben. He's like, I'm tired now. Halby, <laughs> I am shooketh. Another top two rosette. Some really smart thing. Handsome boy, leather boy, and you won this one. <laughs> and by this point, he was quite tired, but can you believe he then went on to be reserve champion? So here he is with his enormous sash that they had to tie up because he's so tiny. You look very smart. So it's Tedsco now, and he also came out pretty sassy. You can see he's sort of trying to semi run away with me here. So we did a bit of warming up which in hindsight potentially wasn't so needed because he then went into the ring and went into chilled mode. But yeah, he is looking very clean and walking out really nicely here. The first class was for Shetland ponies over four. And again, it was a really, really big class with lots of lovely ponies. This is Ted's show, so you can see he's, I'm getting him to stand up here. He actually stood really nice and square, which again, he doesn't really practice at home, so I thought he did very well. Um, unfortunately, he was the last to go out of about maybe 12 ponies um, for his show, so it did mean that he had fallen asleep and gone into therapy pony chill mode by now. So we had a little bit of trouble getting him to move off. So yeah, you can see, compared to outside and compared to Sassy Elby, his brother, he does look a little bit slug-like, which was a shame because he was full of life, as you saw outside. But he still managed a credible fourth, and he was a first and highest place gelding, so we qualified for a championships. Always nice as well to have a good old clap from your supporters. <laughs> <laughs> Side note, I definitely want the ponies to be doing this by next year. So now was the time for the most special class and the one that I've been looking forward to most and this was the lead rain class. Um, you can see lots of the ponies look very, very smart and people are taking it very seriously but for us it was just a bit of fun because Leo's obviously only nine months old. Um, he can't hold the reins properly by himself and obviously can't sit on a pony by himself but you can see he's still having a great go and we're having a trot and he managed the whole class which is about 20 minutes um, without whinging or making a single sound and actually really enjoyed it. He was very focused, um, very much concentrating and he did a little show which obviously didn't involve any trot because he's so diddy but he did an absolutely great job and I think everyone outside the arena thought that he looked very, very cute. And we came fifth out of five, which to be honest, we couldn't care less about. We were thrilled. Leo is very proud of his rosette. So we're the day after now and I hope you enjoyed our showing vlog. The boys, as you can see, are enjoying some time in the field and it's not actually raining which is a rare occurrence for England as most of you know. Um, Teddy's actually rolled which he doesn't normally do so that's a bit naughty. Albie still looks quite clean obviously uh, fresh um, and feeling full of himself still after his showing triumph but yeah thank you very much for watching and I think you'll be seeing more of these two out and about um, after the success so stay tuned.